I. Now, the next game up is Drago, which I have played. Drago is one of the few Sega Genesis games that people consider Drago that are good. Besides the Sonic game that I play. Most of what I played on the Genesis were like two player port games that playing Calgary, aside from uh, Sonic and a few other games along that line. Okay. AOC Jump. Yeah, um, B is the attack button. Now, I did not have the manual for Swagger. So, back to attack. Down and AOC is the flying attack. Okay, that actually the jump button. Cartwheel jump is left or right in AOC. It's kind of weird. A lot of these younger games seem to say B2 button game where they have an NES style two button control scheme except instead of going having an option of oh well flip the two buttons around it like okay you use A and B again your left button is attack your right button is jump but if you want the left button to be jump then you use B and C and yeah okay easy normal hard three four five players the difficulty on normal and hard level, the difficulty changes depending on your own skill. Interesting. Okay, attack technique. Running attack. Left or right to run. Press B repeatedly. Vertical jump. Press simultaneously A and B or C and B. Okay. Water attack. Lying attack. Hanging attack. Climbing attack. Oh, okay, good, good, good. You can put a B to attack whenever the hell you want. That, that's really hard. I mean. <laughs> it's like, it's got a whole page of like, back to attack, but all here is you can put a B to attack when, whenever you're going to go. Then go on like, symbol for extra players. Okay, this is the shiny character meaning he. The first syllable will heal you. The symbol add color to one block in the light cage. If they're all color, you're going to benefit from it. This character means Ryu, the second half of our hero name. This is a very important item symbol. If you can get hold of it in light cage, it becomes one block more of you. Okay, and the way I can tell the difference is that the one symbol he in light two lines with a whole bunch of crap going in the pocket. The other one is like one vertical line with a hook on the bottom with a bunch of horizontal crap. So it's very distinctive. Again, we can take this symbol and like both make both characters overlap, dark rock and light gauge or field. Okay, and so there we go. Different type of bionic robot that help you out. A stalker, a panther, and a hawk robot. Okay, uh, anything about, okay, so five total on level, um, yeah, okay, I got it for the manual, was there anything about, like, um, uh, special buttons on the title screen or anything, thought options, no, so no secret options, just play the game, okay. Oh, let's see just how bad I am at Swagger. Cause uh, I can't forget you remember, I have played it before, and I remember it being really, really fucking hard. Uh, so I'm gonna put it on easy, because I don't recall making a path like level 3 or something. <laughs> I mean, I definitely remember this game having... Oh, it's got Castlevania jump. Like, I'm sorry why I didn't like it. <laughs> and the level is on a switch time limit.
If I do a sideways job, I'm gonna get quite a little hungry today. Wait a Oh, so I've been taking my health bar twice. Thank you. 
that is where I wanted to respawn. Somewhere where moving forward between the time you fit, you can think that. That is like the ideal respawn spot. That, that, you know, for a, for a careful game design right here. Fuck me. Pick up where I brought in level three. You don't seem to be anything like a manual, make me jerk. So I made it for a battle. Okay, we're gonna move on to some other game then. Not gonna continue trying to play Swaggle. I certainly put up waste of time in that game like a kid. <laughs> 